If you have a standard basis, it is easy to find a coordinate vector. You can read up the components straight away. But you have already encountered cases where it's convenient to use another basis instead of the standard basis. How can we find the coordinate vector in this case? Well, that is what you will learn in this video. We have an example over here. Our, our p is 1 plus t, 2t minus t squared. But now we will have another basis. Basis B contains the vectors of 1 plus t, t plus t squared, and 1 plus t squared. And we want to determine the coordinate vector of P with respect to this non-standard basis. So how can we do that? Well, we know that our coordinate vector contains the same number of weights as the number of factors in a basis. Well, the basis contains 1, 2, 3 factors. That means that our coordinate vector will contain three numbers, c1, c2, c3. That means that our coordinate vector, pt, in the basis b, will be some factor in r3. Furthermore, we know that our pt, our factor p, will be c1 times v1 plus c2 times v2 plus c3 times v3. That's the definition of a coordinate factor. So we can use this information in order to find our c1, c2, and c3. Because we know p, we know b1, b2, b3, so we plug everything in. That's what we did over here. And then we uh, compare the powers of t. So what do we see? Uh, t to the power 0, 1 equals c1 plus c3. Uh, t to the power 1, 2 times t equals c1 plus c2. So c1 plus c2 equals 2. And with t squared minus c squared minus 1 equals c2 plus c3. So c, uh, 2 plus c3 equals minus 1. And that yields this linear system over here. So we see we have three equations, three unknowns. We know how to do this. We form an augmented matrix. And we have to do row reduction. Well, the row reduction steps are done over here. I skip that part. You know how to do that. Uh, and I skip straight to the reduced echelon form, and we can read of our solution. We see uh, 1 times c1 plus 0 times c2 plus 0 times c3 equals 2, and same for the other, so c1 equals 2, c2 equals 0, and c3 equals minus 1. And that means that we have found our coordinate vector, that's just the vector which contains c1, c2, and c3. So the coordinate vector of p in the basis b equals 2, 0, minus 1, a vector in R3.